All right, so this is gonna be a really cool chapter because we're gonna build a custom jQuery plugin. And we're not only gonna build it, but we're going to submit it to the jQuery.com registry so that it can be listed for other people to download. Okay, so the plugin itself isn't gonna be very advanced. It's What it's gonna do is it's gonna allow us to add a link to any element on the page. Okay, so we'll be able to add a link and it's gonna have a few parameters it's going to have a parameter for the actual link, the location, and also the text of the link, and also the target, if you want it to open in a new window or not. So we'll be doing that, um, and we'll be setting up Git for version control and creating a GitHub account. Okay, once you create the account, we'll be creating a GitHub repository, and I'll show you how to push your files to the repository. And then we can prepare and publish the plugin in the jQuery.com registry. Okay, so there's strict naming conventions when you're building a plugin, so we'll go over all that. Uh, project section one, project introduction. Section two, we're going to set up our environment and get the um, Git repository set up. Also, create a GitHub account if you don't already have one. Section three, we'll be creating the ma the main plugin file. All right, and then in section four, we'll create the manifest, which is needed to um, publish the plugin. And then in section, section five, we'll do just that. We'll publish the plugin in the registry. So you'll learn quite a bit in this project, especially when it comes to uh, how a jQuery plugin works and its conventions. We'll install Git in Windows. We'll create a Git repository and push our plugin to it and we'll create the manifest and also publish it in the registry. All right, so this will be a really good project. Um, hope you learn a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.